What's up YouTube? It's another beautiful day to be alive. I am here at my house and I'm getting ready to do something really fun that I'm just gonna kind of like take you guys along with me on for the whole process, like kind of like we're hanging out. I'm gonna shoot my bow. I actually, I have two bows and I shot my newer bow last week. So now I'm gonna shoot my older bow. Something I always wanted to be able to do was like have a backup bow, which now I have. And I'm probably gonna get a new one this year as well and maybe turn one of these bows into a bow fishing bow. I haven't decided yet, but needless to say, I'm gonna shoot my old bow from 2017. This was the one I killed my big velvet mule deer with. I also got some whitetail with it. Probably like the most memorable bow I've ever had as far as what I've harvested with it. I'm gonna take that out. We're gonna go shoot outside and let me show you a little something about outside right now. Ooh wee, we got some snow, didn't we? <laughs> it actually, like this morning was very cold, still totally cloudy right after the storm. Now we have the blue sky coming out and it looks beautiful. That red rock always looks amazing when it gets a little bit of snow on it. It's already melting fast. You can probably see the water dripping down. I set up my target out there by my trailer to shoot. Just gonna do some easy, like fun 20 yard shots just to keep the, uh, the practice rolling in the winter, which is always the best thing, which I recommend because it keeps you ready throughout the year so that when you do draw your tags, you're ready. But yeah, check out that view. It is chilly out there. Don't let that blue sky fool you. It's like 32 degrees. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys really quick how I'm gonna layer. Um, a lot of people wouldn't even dare go out and shoot their bow in this snowy weather. They'd probably wait for a warmer day. But because I have the new Azire gear, which is a new women's camo company you guys have heard me talk about, I have the best jacket layers to keep me warm. So I started out with the base layer. This is the hybrid jacket. There's a layer called the grid fleece that goes in between them. These are, this is my go-to situation. So I start out with the base layer. Now I have the hybrid jacket on. The hybrid goes all the way up. If you guys have seen my full Azira review, which if you haven't, I'll link it here. I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna need it all the way up for shooting my bow right now. Hopefully the sun will keep me warm enough as long as with these layers. This has Primaloft and a DWR finish. Um, so water rolls right off of it and then the Primaloft keeps you really insulated. And on top of this, we are going to put the down jacket which has these handy dandy thumb holes. Keeps, uh, well actually wrist skaters I guess is another term for it because it keeps the snow out, which I'll probably need today. Then the down jacket is 800 fill goose down, the best quality, the warmest you can get. Now I have them all layered up and I'm ready to shoot my bow and stay warm. So many women ask me all the time, like, how do you do late season hunts? How do you stay warm? What gear should I get? This hands down right here is going to keep you the warmest. I know from experience, Carrie and I, the owner of Azire, went on a Wyoming hunt where it was like 16 degrees and lower. And I was wearing all of the layers plus the grid fleece that I mentioned and I stayed warm. And we were like sitting around doing different things where normally I'd be freezing cold in any other gear. But if you need to stay warm, this is your stuff, ladies. Trust me. And you guys can see that I'm not hunting right now, but this gear works great for lifestyle hunting, shooting your bow around your house, whatever it is you're looking for. It's a must have, trust me. Let's go shooting! Okay, this is the old bow I speak of. We're taking this and some arrows and we're hitting the backyard. All right, haven't pulled this one back in, the, in a while. My draw weight might be a little bit more on this, so we're gonna find out. Right where I wanted it to go. Yeah, it's a little heavy on this guy. But it's also like the off season. The more I shoot, the better I get with it. That one was a little high. Let's try that again, and then I'll go show you guys my group. Who's still practicing through the winter? Anybody? Anybody? Oh, heavy. <laughs> I 
Sweet, that was a good shot. So we got two sh good shots. One was a little high. I'll show you guys. I was aiming for different little target spots each time. Okay, so you'll see this one. I was aiming for that one. Just barely on the black there. Same with this, just barely on the lower end of the black. This one was a little high. Like I said, I'm just shooting at 20 yards, so nothing too crazy. Just some good winter practice. All right, let's get another group in there. So fun. Such a beautiful view with this snow. What up, trailer? <laughs> Let's check. Great little group. That one was a little high right. That was my first shot. The rest were like right on there. Did I break an arrow? No, I got lucky. Just skimmed each other. Still got it even the, in the winter. All right, walking back for another group. I have kind of a little fun, honest reminder for you guys. I love making bow videos. They're typically like my most viewed videos. Bow hunting's my favorite thing. If I had it my way, it's the only type of hunts I would ever do, but sometimes it's hard to get tags and no late season ones and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, every time I make a bow video, and same goes for any woman that posts on like social media with a bow photo, there's always some men that have the, and I'm not singling you out men, like lots of great men that watch my videos, not singling you out, but there's always men that have the need to say like, Oh, your draw weight's too high, your draw length is wrong, blah blah blah, do this, do that. I'm just here to say that everybody's going to shoot what works best for them, and what works for me might not work for someone else, and there's no right or wrong. So don't just keep the comments to yourself if you think draw weight or draw length is off. I get better with my draw weight as the time goes on. Um, I'm always able to pull it back in tree stands. I've pulled it back in blind, sitting down, laying down, all these weird things. <laughs> and the draw length thing, sometimes there's certain reasons why people might have different draw lengths than that, what you think is standard. But I'm just here to say there's no right or wrong. Let's all be on each other's team and support each other rather than nitpicking things that we know nothing about. That's all I have to say really, yeah. My, Everything about my bow is perfect. I've uh, gotten a lot of animals with it this way, and that's why I'll keep setting it up this way. I love it. One more group. And then maybe next time I make a video, I'll do my newer bow. And then my newer, newer bow. Shot. Let's try that again. A little windy on this one. Oh, but we still got it. <laughs> it's a good shot. Right on top of my other arrow. I mean, it's only 20 yards, so it's close and easy, but. Hey, I've gotten a lot of animals at 20 yards. Tree stands and blinds. It's a great yardage to have done. Awesome. 
I aimed for a different one that time, and I got it. What a beautiful, beautiful day. Beautiful. Look at that sunshine. I'm ready for spring. Super ready. All right, here we go. These were the two that were on top of each other, like I said, right next to each other. This one I aimed for this one and same thing, right close. So they've all been pretty good, right about on the money. None of them like dead center, you know, but it's practice. Practice makes perfect. All right, back inside. Uh, definitely stay nice and toasty in this setup. Ladies, I highly recommend it. Men, I highly recommend buying it for your ladies. Um, that'll make a nice surprise. And then they can go do more fun stuff with you because they'll stay warm. As I was walking in, I was thinking about, man, why is that draw weight so heavy, so different than my usual? And the reason is, you guys might know, in 2017, I rolled my truck and I had a pretty bad neck injury, still technically do, but before my neck, before um, I rolled my truck, that's when I got my velvet mule deer and all that, and, and I was pulling back 53 pounds, which is a lot for me. Um, you know, it was almost half my body weight. And I was pulling it back comfortably. I was shooting my bow two, three times a day because I had that general archery tag and I really wanted to get a nice velvet buck with my bow. Then my accident happened and my new bow, I set down way lower, like 45, I think. I think the legal limit in Utah, they actually just switched to 35, but yeah, I'm just being honest with you guys. There'll be people who are like, oh man, that's low or whatever. The truth is a good shot's a good shot. And you know, if you make the decision to hunt an animal, it is the best thing to do. It's the most ethical thing to do to be really trained with your weapon, no matter what it is. And for me, when I have a tag with my bow, I mean, I go nuts practicing all the time because it is the most finicky, most precise, type of hunting there is and you just got to be dead on which I was when I got that nice buck with my bow he was at 22 yards and man I practiced that shot like you cannot believe thousands and thousands of arrows at all the different ranges that year I mean I was dead on and yeah hopefully I have the chance to do that this year and get another archery tag hopefully you guys do too I'm I'm rooting for all of us getting tags <laughs> But yeah, I'm just, really just the reminders are coming just from, you know, let's just be good to people, right? Let's just uh, all get along in the hunting industry. Who cares what your draw weight or draw length is? It's, it's none of your business. Just be the best hunter you can be and put a smile on your face. That's my TED talk. <laughs> just kidding. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. All the Azire gear that I'm wearing is linked below, as always. And I hope you guys are having a great winter, getting ready for spring and shed hunting and all that cool stuff. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys.